all right guys in this video we are going to learn about asset turnover now this is going to be a series of fundamental analysis of a business so this is the part one in which we are going to learn what is asset turnover and why why on the earth it is important to understand what is the meaning of asset turnover that's what we are going to explain in this video So first, let us understand what is asset turnover. Now guys, say you today want to set up a business, right? Say to set up business, there could be a different idea. So let's take a very simple example. Say you want to prepare some product, okay? To prepare some product, basically you need to invest in business. You have to set up the plant, you have to set up the building, machineries, and all those things you need to first set, right? So to develop a product, say you set up a plant. So that plant, that building, that is basically asset of your business all right so that asset you utilize for what purpose you, you use your asset to make a product right so that product later on you sell it to the market and then you earn money so that's kind of a very simple form of a business now when you're utilizing your asset and you're making a product and you selling it to somebody else you are earning money so first you need to have an asset and when you have asset, then you make a sale. So asset turnover is how you are turning over your asset. What does it mean? Like how you are utilizing your asset. Okay, getting tough? Don't worry. We'll take an example and we will explain this in details. So let's take an example of Nestle India. That Nestle India right now had an asset, say, 7,900 crores. Okay. And that year, Nestle India make a sale of 13,350 crores. Okay, so clear? First, they had an asset of 7,900 crores and using that, they had made a sale of 13,350 crores. So, coming to the calculation part of asset turnover is basically sale by asset. Okay, so if you see, if we take the sale of a company and divide it by its asset, we get asset turnover also in some of the places it is named as asset turnover ratio okay so let us have a bit more understanding with so asset turnover is sale by asset so if my asset turnover is one what does it mean it means if i have 100 crores of asset i can make a sale of 100 crores so if i have asset turnover of two that means if i have 100 crores of asset I will make 200 crores. Something same, if I have an asset turnover of 0.5, that will mean if I have 100 crores of asset, I'll make a sale of 50 crores. It's just a simple ratio of asset and it's your total asset. So that is all about your asset turnover. Now moving forward, so let us take some example of asset turnover of well-known companies. Let's take an example of Nestle India. So Nestle India's asset turnover is 1.77. What does it mean? It means if Nestle India has 100 crores of asset, it can make a sale of 177 crores, isn't it? So moving to the next example is Larson and Tubro. They have asset turnover of 0. 0.44. What does it mean? If Larson and Tubro have 100 crores of asset, it will be able to make a sale of 44 crores. And last example is Reliance Industries. Its asset turnover is 0. 0.4. What does it mean? If Reliance has an asset of 100 crores, it will probably make a sale of 34 crores. So asset turnover basically gives you an idea how much asset it has and what is the sale it is going to make. Now, there is further implication of that. It is very important to understand some implication of asset turnover. Now. If we calculate asset turnover for many companies, we are going to get different numbers, right? Now guys, we can have 0.3, we can have 1, 1.2, 1.8, we can have different asset turnover for different type of business, right? Now guys, you tell me, if you get an asset turnover of 1, what does it mean? You already know that you have 100 crores of asset and you are making 100 crores of sales, isn't it? So if that is the case, then it is whatever asset it has, it is making the same amount of sale, right? What is the other case? If it is less than one, what does it mean? 
इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव हंड्रेड क्रोर्स ऑफ एसेट यू आर गोइंग टू मेक लेस अमाउंट ऑफ सेल ऑब्वियसली इट इज गोइंग टू बी लेस देन हंड्रेड क्रोर्स राइट सो इफ यूर एसेट टर्न ओवर इज लेस देन वन दैट मीन्स यू हैव मोर एसेट यू हैव लेस सेल इज इंट इट एंड इफ इट इज मोर देन वन वॉट इज इट मीन वॉट एवर एसेट यू हैव यू आर गोइंग टू मेक मोर सेल देन योर एसेट इज इंट इट Your asset ten over one point two means hundred crores of asset you have and hundred twenty crores of sale you are making. So asset ten over more than one it means whatever asset you have you are going to make sales more than that. So which makes more sale than your asset that is called asset light business. All right, so because you need less asset to make more sales. That is why it is called asset light business. What is asset heavy business? you have more asset but you are making less amount of sales so that is called asset heavy because you have heavy asset and making less sales a light asset or asset light businesses you have less asset but you are making more sales using that right so just to uh, compare uh, nestle india 1.77 and reliance 0.34 that is the asset turnover so basically what it says is how efficiently a company is able to utilize its asset that's what the asset turnover means now this comparison is not valid because nestle india and reliance industries these are operating in a two different segment so it's always better if we take a company from the same sector and then we compare their asset turnover if we do that obviously we will be able to find which companies is making more utilization of their asset let us take an example from the same industry say paint industry so paint industry top 3 companies which is asian paint burger paint and kansai nero lab see if we see their asset turnover the asian paint has 1.19 burger paint has 1.26 and kansai nero lab has 0.94 so guys by looking at it i think now you have a much better idea to understand which company is utilizing their asset more efficiently You see, Burger Paint in this list makes the highest asset turnover. Means whatever asset they have, they are utilizing their asset more efficiently. And in this list, we see the Kansai Nero Lake is having the lowest asset turnover. So, in comparison with all three companies, we see Burger Paint is having highest asset turnover, and Kansai Nero Lake is having the lowest asset turnover. I hope you found this information interesting. Thank you for checking out this video. I'll catch you up in the next.